guys welcome back to my youtube channel hope you're all doing well and welcome back to a brand new video we are currently still in london for the next couple of days so we thought we could show you guys what we get up to we've actually got a really fun this one's a fun day isn't it fun filled couple of days actually yeah, so, oh yeah we have yeah we've got about what we're doing tomorrow yeah so today we are just heading out now we're going to try and find somewhere for breakfast but none of us are actually too hungry so I'm thinking like a little cafe, a little yeah, Starbucks, cafe on Costa, the way, you know, something like we've that. We've got a, a very long walk. Yeah, I lie, think it's like a 45 minute walk. Yeah, um, because we are going to Madame Madame Tussauds. Tussauds. Now, when me and Tom first started coming to London, which was like, what, nine years ago? It's when we first got together. Nine years ago. I think we came and went to Madame Tussauds twice, but you think I we think went we've once. I only ever been once. But anyways, whether we went once or twice, we loved it, but it was kind of one of those ones, once you've done it, you've done it, you've seen it. Yeah, I'm not, don't get me wrong, I like it, but I wouldn't do it all the time, because... Once like, you've seen it, you've seen yeah. it. Yeah, 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 I get you. Whereas obviously now, that was like, what, eight years ago, so... Yeah. I think there's more, change. yeah, I feel like there's more people in there, and I just think it's such a cool idea. Don't you? Like, the whole concept of Madame Tussauds is absolutely amazing. Um, so I'm very, yeah. very excited to go. So yeah, we've not been in a long time, so we're going to go there today. Um, and then tonight we'll go for some tea. We're going to see another West End show. And then tomorrow we've actually got a Harry Potter afternoon tea book. Which I am absolutely buzzing, buzzing for, for. Don't really know what to expect Yeah, it, no, me neither. But it'll be cool. It'll be brilliant. It'll be exciting either way. So if you are excited to spend the next couple of days with us, then please don't forget to give the video a big Cha. thumbs up. And hopefully, we'll find a nice little cafe for breakfast. Mm. So we decided to just come to prep for breakfast, just because it was the closest place to Madame Tussauds itself. We actually were gonna kind of walk halfway, have breakfast, and then continue, but we ended up walking the full way, didn't we? Pretty much, yeah. Well, pretty pretty much around the corner from it. Um, and there was a Costa, a Starbucks, and a prep, but the Costa and the Starbucks was literally packed, right? You couldn't even move, and prep's quite nice anyway. So we come to prep. What have we gone for? I have just taste, taken a sip from my cranberry, raspberry and pomegranate mm. and I'm not 100% taken by it. Ah. I think it, but I'm not 100% taken by it. Um, we have, I've gone for... Sausage and egg. Yeah, sorry, sausage and egg. Yeah. Sandwich, you were going to go for that. Then, you... then I saw the chocolate. Chocolate croissants. You've but gone for both. Well. Yeah. Just to be safe. Just to be safe, yeah. Be safe. And then I've gone for a chocolate croissant and a apple juice. I'm really hungry now, are you? Like, we keep saying it's breakfast, but... Again, it's, it's like, more like brunch, that half yeah, ten. I never wait till 10.30 for something to eat, so... No, it's usually snack time. Yeah. Who's ready for a fun-filled morning at Madame Tussauds? Because I, 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 I am. I am. I am. Yeah, I am. They've got Dua that would be cool. They've even got Star Wars, Tom. Who are you wanting to meet today? Do you leave her? Yeah, I've already just been good wing. Yeah. Walked in right and the first time she comes in like a red carpet like this. And I thought this woman was real. Tommy was talking and like ignoring her, should I say? And I was like, Tom, that's a bit rude. Like she's taking a picture of me and it's so rude. And I was like, oh. gonna give you like a little over to tour of everyone. Elle's thought this guy was real so we're, we're in room two she's already thought three people are real because she doesn't know who this guy is so she thinks he's real. Oh 
With who? Oh, the sign. Right, so in here we've got Brad. I don't know their name. That's Kate. No, Nicole Kidman. Where's his thing to say who he is? And usually it's very they real, don't they? Yeah, they, they do. Then we have Posh and Bex. Brad Pitt. I, I, yeah, I haven't forgot Brad Pitt. Tom Hardy. Woo. Should we have our picture with uh, Posh and Bex? Go on, Els. Nice. Oh, different angle. Posh, get involved. Okay, here he's ready to meet the Royals. She looks very real over there, doesn't she? Who is that? It looks like it's moving a little bit. Really? Anyways, we're gonna meet Harry and Meghan. George Clooney. George Clooney over there in the corner. Go and have a picture, Tom. Go sit with him. Got his arm around. Yeah, don't mind. Put my arm around George. Love it. In Meghan. Do you know what as well? We was just saying that some of them, some of them don't look like they're ready for a picture. Like. Dog yeah. Doesn't look like he's ready for a picture. It's like Harry and Meghan, they do. Do you know what I mean? Like how you would stand and like how you have your picture, have your picture taken with someone that like that. He wouldn't sit like that if I wanted to take my ass. Yeah. What's her name? I really like her. She's in a lot of films. Pink too. Same Oh, I really like her. I'm not very good. Like I love films and I love like acts and actors. I'm not very good at names. No, you're not great at names. No, I'm not very good at names, but she's really, really good. What film is she in? Oh, Spider-Man. She's in, um, obviously, Great Showman. Great she's on Disney Pizza. Channel. Yeah, so she came from, on it. Here, if anyone's wondering. Oh, Mo Salah's over there. Mo Salah. Oh, he looks like he's ready for a picture. He looks like he's ready for you to like stand next to him and have a pit. Do a bit of this. Love it. That actually looks quite real when you add your finger in the air. That's small, isn't it? Like just the attention to these, like that is crazy. Like even the eyebrows, he's got good eyebrows, hasn't it? He's the main man himself. Dwayne Johnson. You know what, Tom? He's actually one of my favourite actors, Dwayne Johnson. Yeah. I really, really, really like him. And I don't know... Do you think he looks like Dwayne? I feel like it's maybe yeah. not the best. I don't pressing know. Pressing into party. Right. Els has got a turn. You've got a cue for this one. We're pressing to party. Ah. Oh. They do now. Oh. Huh? Disappointed. Ugh. No, it's not Tommy. All right. Do you know what though? That's something I love, like the special effects. They're in real action here. Tommy, duh, duh, duh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm scared now. What? Ooh. Is that real? Is that a real person? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. My Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't like it. Is there someone in there? You can go first. <laughs> Is that a mirror? Yeah. Right. Oh, oh my god. I did not like that. And I did not expect that either. <laughs> Freaking hell. Oh, King Kong. That even scared me. Like, I didn't expect This is all new since we were last here. King Kong. Mint, all the gym, bomb, I honestly, together. like, I know we keep saying about Florida, but this, doesn't this remind you of it? Oh, makes me sad. Would, yeah, gosh, God. We're just in pure Florida mode now, aren't we? That's a cool picture, that, actually, Els. Are you helping him go home? No, it is a beautiful ride. There's not many places you can see all the James Bonds together. Is it? Featuring Ellie Wadler. Hey up, are you going to be the first female James Bond? What? You could be the first female James Bond. Huh? Wow. Terminator? Yeah. Nice. 
nice. Well. Like if you need to call it round here, they have like little things that show you how it's done. Oh yeah. I really like. Do you know what I actually really like about this? Is you get to find out how tall celebrities are compared to yourself. Oh, is that like a Yeah, of course it is. So like that's how tall he is next to me. Same, same sort of size. This is the two types of people that we are. Tom's come to like all the sports people and I'm just waiting so we can go see Kendall Jenner over there and the fashion week. That's the two kind of people that we are. Here are all these then Tom. Which one? Let's do a little knowledge test. Yeah. Do a look at the signs. Look at the signs. So we're starting off with Mo Farah. Yeah. Jessica Ennis, Usain Bolt, Jesse Owens, Bobby Moore, Pele, don't know this guy, Raphael Nadal. I don't know that guy. Is it on the wall? Oh, Tendulka. Oh, do you know now, now you say it, do you know I've that? I've heard of his name before, but I won't know him yet. Oh. Say that again, Tom, what did you just say? So I'll have a picture of him. <laughs> Oh, I don't, I don't think that does look what like it. Cara, it doesn't look like it. No. That's been the worst one so far. I actually do think that's been the worst one. I like the dressing table. Yeah, I do. Who else did you just say? Cara Delvin. Yeah, that's, she's quite good to be fair. Where's Kylie? Kylie's my favourite Kardashian. Kylie and Kim and that will be later on, won't they? Oh, there he is. Henry VIII. Do you know what? Another fun fact, I feel like I always tell you fun facts about me, but fun fact, I loved learning about Henry VIII at school. I actually loved it. And I still find it all really interesting now. What was your favourite thing to learn at school? Like, what was your favourite topic? Like, in what? history, was it? Yeah, I've always yeah. been. I loved Henry, absolutely loved that. Who's that? Have you just read the sign? No, where's the sign? Oh, behind yeah. No, we know who Diana is, Tom. This is a bit of me. Oh, We're now at, I think, the festival. We've got a bit of Miley Cyrus up there. Oh, Miley. A bit of Miley, a bit of JB. Go on, Tom. Let's see how, how tall are you next to him. Wow. Is he that small? Wow, I love Miley Cyrus. Hannah Montana used to love that. Who else have we got? Lady Gaga. Little Mix. Little Mix. Do you know what, as well, I saw on um, Instagram Little Mix mating that, like them coming, they did like a little reel, wasn't uh -huh. And I saw them doing that, and I thought it was quite interesting. Oh. Can you wear? I like his outfit. I do. Right. right, let's go see the ladies themselves, Little Mix. Do you know what, they are actually really good. Like, they're probably the best ones in here. They look so much like them. They look unreal. Now, let me get a close so I can show you. Liam. Jesse, Kerry, and Jid. Actually, looks so much like him. They're probably the best ones so far. Diana Grande. Oh, what do they do? Oh, they're lighting some up. I feel like this was Ariana in a younger day. It doesn't look like a much. Look how small Ariana is. Yeah. Ariana Grande. I know. <laughs> she's like one of my favourite singers. I think she's so. Yeah. I think she's quite underrated actually. Do you? Oh, who's this? Amy. Go on then, a bit of Amy. Amy. Amy, why now? I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day. I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight through the night mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two Like a drowned rat 
it just absolutely chucked it down. Oh, I just found a parking spot over there. It has just absolutely chucked it down while we were trying to get back to uh, relatively close. Oh, struggling. Bear with. Oh, we've done it. No worries. But just saying, we uh, got caught by the rain, didn't we? Do you know it was fun there? It was fun. We were going down like Oxford Street, which is like one of the busiest like, streets. The rain, was like, the rain was driving into our face. It was incredible. Oh Everyone was like taking shelter in that, and we were just plod along on our Boris yeah. bikes. Like, I don't know if you can tell by my shirt, actually. Yeah, you can't but... tell by my hair. Yeah. Um, <sighs> crazy, yeah, but... Yeah, we're going to go and have a little look in the shops, then we're going to head back and get... Yeah, so we had a little bit of a plan of... Because we were right out compared to Leicester Square, so it had been a long walk, and we're struggling a little bit for time. We're not now, but we were. If we were walking from right back there, we'd have been really struggling for time, so we've decided to come all the way to the other end of Oxford Street so that we can look around some few shops, and now we're not pushed for time. So after spending the afternoon on the Boris bikes, which was so fun, okay. It's the, the best way to see London, Honestly, I think. it's one of mine and Tom's favourite things to do in London. Like, we absolutely love it. And they're so affordable as well. Like, I think it's £2. Pound, is it £2 pound for 30 minutes, but you get your first 30 minutes? Yeah, your first 30 minutes is free, but it's £2 for 30 minutes after that. Yeah, they're so good. Honestly, if you ever come to London, it's so worth it. And it's literally so quick to get around. We literally went all over today. Literally from one side of London to the other, didn't we? We went literally Honestly, everywhere. We did 10 kilometres. Didn't we? we did nearly 10k, yeah. We did it nine, was nine points in the it was that. so much fun, but then as you'll have seen, it started raining yeah. and we came back like drowned rats. So <laughs> the hairs had to be scraped back. Um, anyways, we have just managed to get a last minute table at Bella Italia. We both just fancied Italian tonight, didn't we? Just, yeah, nice, easy Italian. I really, really fancied it, and it's in a really nice place as well. It's in Leicester Square, but it's got all like fairy lights and stuff. I don't know if you can really see them, but it's really pretty. So, anyway, we walked past it last night and we said, let's go there tomorrow and um, the waitress has just been to take our order and i always go for the same thing i always go for the is it the hollow penne or hollow pasta oh. i think it's called it's like in a creamy sauce it's in like a creamy white wine sauce with chicken and mushrooms and garlic i believe but i always get the same thing and tonight i proper fancied just a proper italian spag ball i feel like you can't beat it so i've gone for spag ball with um, garlic bread as well and then what did you go for tom i just I just felt pizza, so I went for pepperoni pizza. And Good standard. Yeah, I feel like we, um, thank, thank you, you so much, thank you. I feel like we um, have learned our lesson from the other day. What did we do the other day? We got something and we were like, just sit to what you know. Oh, it was the cocktail. It was, cocktails. It was a cocktail. So we're sticking to what we know. Um, and then after this, we are going to the theatre, which we are both super excited. We're actually going to see Matilda, which we've seen once before, haven't we? And we both yeah. really, really enjoyed it. It was like the I first West End show me and Tom ever came to together. It's quite nostalgic. All right, where? Nostalgic. I think that's the right word. Um, but it's a bit of a throwback for us, so we're excited to go watch that as well. The good thing is as well, it is no longer raining. It's a bit windy, the sun's gone in, but the rain has stopped, which is a plus. Food has come. How good does this look? Looks Pepperoni. Good. What did you get? Rosemary chips? Yeah. Skin on. God, like skin on chips. Either. We keep referring to Florida, don't we? But we just love it. Um, spag ball. We do that in life, you know. Yeah, we do. And then garlic bread. And do you know what? As well, I was just thinking, I have definitely chosen the right outfit to wear all black if I'm having spag ball because I spun it down the whole time. So imagine if I had all white on. Mm. And I've not actually had a spag ball in a proper Italian for I don't even know. It's not my go to. So I'm so excited to eat it. It was unreal. What was your life? Mine was nice. Like, it's just, I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> like a, a street cleaner going back or whatever. Um, mine was really, really nice. Just the pepperoni was a little bit spicy. And if you know me, I don't do spice. We know what Tom's like. He doesn't, he doesn't do spicy too. Anyways, now we are pretty much running to our show because we're a little bit pushed for time. I think we've got like literally five and it's meant to take about nine minutes to get there so we're walking very very quickly but another thing is usually the queue for the bar so long we need to get our snacks and drinks. Need snacks and drinks so fingers crossed we get there in it's time but as i said we're going to see matilda now do you know what one of my favorite things to do like if i had to pick my ideal day and night it would 100 percent be going to see a west end show and going for like there. a really nice tea that would 
be like my perfect date night. So the past couple of nights for me Come on. have been perfect. <laughs> See what I mean about running. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Your perfect date night. Per it's my perfect day. date night to go see a western show and go have something to eat and we've done that the, p the past couple of nights it's been unreal um, but what I was going to say was as I mentioned earlier oh my god I'm out of breath now, now as, I mentioned, now. as I mentioned earlier we were in like the peak of Leicester Square which yeah, is like the we busiest were. place sorry if that was so loud sorry if that was like really random and abrupt <laughs> um, Matilda, this is the second time we've been to see it and I would actually put it up there in one of my top three West End shows to go see. So if you're coming to London and you're wondering which West End show to come and see, I would rate Matilda. I'd recommend your, that a lot. What would be your three recommendations, Al? Because um, you're like a proper West End -y Yeah, I am. I love the West End. Um, Matilda, 100%. Right. Um, Kinky Boots, which that was one of those. Which way is it? Is it straight it is down there? Up there, I think. Um, Kinky Boots was one of those that we, I think we came and we got the tickets on the night for Kinky Boots, but actually it ended up being one of my favourites. Yeah, we did get the tickets on the night actually, I remember that. Yeah. And um, it, I'm not even going to lie, from a boy's point of view, um, that Kinky Boots was mint. That so was good, so brilliant. good. I um, and I also really like 9 to 5. Yeah, 9 to 5 would probably be my favourite. I'd say they're my top three. Not that I really have a favourite West Ends, but you know. But you've got to do things for the people you love. You know, like last week when we went on true. the bike ride, and when we go watch football no, matches, no, that's why Tom that. comes to the West End shows with me. So you've <laughs> got to do them things for the people you love. I will give you um, a. Yes, yeah, so I'd say Matilda, 9 to 5, and Kinky Boots, I think. Saying that, if you've got kids, or if you just love Disney like us, I made Tommy go see Frozen with me last year, and that was unreal. Like, the way they did, what is it, like, the not the, the special effect. You know, like when Elsa was like, it's and it like freezes everything. Like the way they did that on a West End stage was phenomenal. So I'd say they're my top four. But anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. I literally feel like I'm gonna have a heart attack because <laughs> I've just ran. Um, and we will let you know what the show's like, even though we already know it's gonna be amazing. Just like that, we got there 15 minutes early. And now we're in the bar. <laughs> So we've just come out of Matilda the show and we've just come to a speakeasy. Sorry. We've never actually been to one of these before, so sorry, thank you. Um yeah, we've never actually been to one of these before. What's he called, Tom? Speakeasy. Milroy's. Milroy's? Milroy's of I think he's called it's called Milroy's. We'll show you outside. Yeah. But it looks like a whiskey shop and then you come in and there's a bookcase which you would just see and you push it, you go down to like the basement and it's a cocktail bar. Unbelievable so far. Honestly. We were nervous to come in here but just do it. It's... Oh my god. How cool is this? It's unbelievable. I don't really know how much you're going to be able to hear in here but just to give you a little pan of what it actually looks like, it's quite small. But it's unreal. It's so good, isn't it? How did you even find out about it? Was it TikTok? Yeah. It's really cosy, which is, as you guys know, I love that. Anyways, we've both got a drink. I've gone for the banana spritz, which is basically like a sparkling wine with banana syrup, I think. You can ask me why I got. Yours is a French, was it? Milano French. And it has grapefruit and something in it. Yeah, sugar. I mean, it's all right. Try mine. Definitely better than Oh, was it? Yeah, is it? Very sweet. Oh, nice. Anyway. Have you not tasted your own drink yet? Um, I think you'll like that. Oh, yeah. Not bad, that is it? Good morning everybody, so it's now the next day, updates on last night, Matilda. The last time you saw us was in the vault, wasn't it? Yeah, but I don't feel like we really updated because we literally went straight to the vault, yeah. didn't we? What did you think to Matilda? Matilda was good, yeah, very good, just as I always remember it, the, the girl who plays Matilda, man, 
I know, I was gonna I was actually just gonna say that. The actors and actresses are obviously little kids because it's Matilda. Just I mean there's a few adults, but <laughs> the majority of them are kids. How they do what they do, honestly, is absolutely phenomenal, especially Matilda. Like for me, how she learns her lines, how she learns the lyrics to the song. How she, she even spoke Bulgarian. Yep, yeah, she spoke a different language. What is that about? She was a good dancer, she was a good singer, like she was everything. And she must have been as well. She must have been about eight. Eight years old, do you reckon? Yeah, definitely. Honestly, absolutely unreal. Highly, highly recommend that show. And then the speakeasy. You found that on TikTok, didn't you? Found the speakeasy on TikTok, right? Quirkiest, coolest little place she'll go to. It was a whiskey bar. And I went in and the guy knew that we didn't really know where to go because obviously we didn't book a table or anything like that. And he, the guy came up to me and was like, you have to, you have to whiskey or cocktails? And I was like, cocktails? He's like, right, go to the back of the bookcase. Walk through the bookcase. That's all he said. I literally walked to the back of this whiskey bar, pushed this fully fledged bookcase. And Which it looks so legit. Like, and it just blew my mind and you went down to this speakeasy which was dark it was it really was cute and cozy it yeah it was really nice where we had some nice cocktails didn't we and the, yeah the, again the staff in there were unbelievable it, it was, was so good tom loves whiskey like that's your favorite drink isn't it really yeah. so you wanted to go there but for anybody wondering it was a whiskey shop slash bar called milroy's of Milroy. soho yeah and then when you go down i don't know if that's a different I don't know if that's it's, called the vault. It's called the vault. Yeah, I don't know in, if they're called two separate things, but the shop front is Milroy's of Soho. Yeah. Um, which was really close to Matilda, actually, which was really good. It was good. very close to Matilda. Um, but all in all, a really good night. And the cocktails, I really enjoyed my cocktail. I enjoyed like an Aston cocktails. Martini. Um, cocktails were nice. But yeah, anyway, today is our last day. And we are just heading to our Harry Potter afternoon tea. Although we don't know what to expect, Harry Potter's Harry Potter. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like it's going to be good either way. It's going to be cool, it's going to be quirky, it's going to be in a cool place, isn't it? So it's just another thing to. Another like different off the thing box. to do, yeah. yeah and in this surprise. place as well, we'll tell you what it's called when we get there, so I can't actually remember, but in this place they do like cocktails as well, so. You do cocktail making, it's called potion making. Yeah, so instead of afternoon tea, you could have done cocktails, which Late was on like. At night. Yeah, which was like, um, it was like. You made cocktails as if you would make potions. Yeah. It sounded really cool and quirky, but we couldn't get booked onto that. So. We couldn't get. We, we literally leave this afternoon, and the only booking we could have got was for tonight when yeah. we were looking to book stuff. So we could have done that, which is unfortunate because that did sound and look really cool. Yeah, it, it did. But to be fair, we love a good afternoon tea, so I'm hoping that's also going to be good as well. Hey okay, guys, we are here. Looks pretty cool so far. It does. It took a little bit of finding. It did take a little bit of finding. Little bit of finding but, it's uh, next to Mary Poppins, the Prince Edward Theatre. Looks quirky though, doesn't it? Quirky little shop, yeah. And I think we've been really lucky as well because it has just started, started spitting, so perfect timing. Also, we did go to Zara. Tom got a few essential t shirts, didn't you? A few, few t shirts. Just a few t shirts. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to head in now. But yeah, it looks really cool. When you come in, there's like all these sweets. I think I'm definitely gonna have to get some of these before we go. Oh, see ya. Yeah, you touch that one on here. And that oh, then spins it. Maybe we'll well. do that because I love a good pick and mix. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. So we're rough. It's a really small little room. <laughs> There's our magic wand. That was off. Oh. I'm guessing this is where all the cakes are going to go. So we're in an experiment, now, just got to find some. And tap it with your wand. You can spill the tree. Right. What are we finding? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be under here. I'm going to turn it back that way for you. Oh, <laughs> I have a feeling you're thinking of some. Think. Do you want to try? No, I feel like you've just got to get it. Yay! There we go. Okay, so as you can see, your eggs are. Oh, do you want to pack those one more time? Uh, the dragon. 
So the eggs are happy and warm now, and as long as they stay that way during this tea, we won't be eaten by a dragon. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, so warm anymore? So you get the chest open on our tables, but they're not regular chests; they're magical chests. So I'm gonna need to give you a riddle. You have to use a riddle to try and open it, okay? Okay, now I'm trying to open the chest. I've got a riddle. When the sun, when the sun rises, the day starts, the sun sets the day. Is there like pictures of oh, it on, on the front? The, the moon on the moon. Oh, wow. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect that to Oh, thank you. That was incredible. Thank you very much. Well done, Tom. Thank you very much. I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so we've got this tea first. And then what did she say? And now we're going to have a special tea, Tom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you pour these in, uh, into no, no. these little things yeah. and then they go in your yeah, puff. So we need to find them out which one we want. <laughs> what, what have we got? Right, yeah, sounds good. Not good. Chamomile. Chamomile. Lemon and ginger. Rosebuds. That would be nice to put on the tea after. Hibiscus, hibiscus, is that how you say that? Really burst? Don't know, I've never heard of that one. Nettle. Nettle tea. Peppermint, with a bit of peppermint too. Lavender. Jasmine. So I think the English one, do you? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I fancy with a cake. So I think, yeah, put it in there, do that, and then we put it in these, I'm going to guess. Yeah. Taste test of the tea. How have you done, Tommy? Mmm. Normal cup, then. Really nice, that. Are they macar macaroons? Is that chocolate? I don't know. Squeeze it in it? Have you ever had a macaroon? Macaron? Macaroon? I have not either. Not a bit you. <laughs> Do as your macaroon. Make sure you squeeze all that goodness in there. <laughs> Just go for it. You want you probably will like that actually. Strange delicacy, isn't it? Right. But they're not my cup of tea. Not your cup of tea, I like what you've done there, that you are. Mm -hmm. Did them. Did <laughs> up on the agenda. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't know I'm not getting to taste that else. <laughs> just had a mare. <clears throat> yeah, so just dropped it everywhere. Just filled it everywhere. So. And this is Owen's reaction to me because the place is pretty silent. We tried our scones, they were really nice. Scones, scones were beautiful. We but we demolished them, we forgot to show those. Honestly, next up, what's this? I won't try and get mine again. <laughs> Alright, okay. What's the verdict on that, Els? That. Really? It's lemon curd. Right. Cream. Beautiful. Really We're slowly getting through it all. So what you got was, you got obviously two of each thing, but you got that. These which, the hot, I don't really know what they are, but they're really nice. They've got like peppers and stuff in. And we got three sandwiches. So you got like, um, I think that was, was that BLT? That one. Uh, but it had yes. gherkin in it, I'm sure. Not tried that one. And then the other one was ham and cheese. That's that that I've demolished 
And then cake, she got one of these, one of these, one of these that Tommy dropped, um, and a scone. So yeah, that's what you get. And then you got all these teas that we showed you. We have round two. Oh, do we? Yeah. Ah. Oh. We're getting round two of what? Try all of this. Mm. Nice. The monge. Oh. Second tea. The second tea. I want the smartest witch or wizard to pick up the one. Go on. You. No, you're, no, you're smartest. Go on. Go. go on, babe. Okay. And I want you to think of something right. Think of me. <laughs> Three cups and tap it with your wand. Three cups. Okay, there we go. And I want you to find the teapot room next and tap it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, me and my colleague have put some ingredients on your tables. They're in three little jars. They've got Goblins, kernels, phoenix ashes, and some herbs we got from the witch's garden. They're great. And I need you to put everything in the jars inside the tea bag. So it's not that cold on there then, no. Oh, that's that there. Oh. Amazing. Oh, you've picked the red oh. one first. That smells really nice, smell that. <laughs> I'm not sure it does, look. So that's lemon, I think. Right, go for the red one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh, we don't like that. <laughs> It looks sour. <laughs> I like that. Do you? Oh, you'll drink that. Yeah. I, know, I mean, when you try that one. It looks really nice, that bit. It's really sour. <laughs> right, I'll go for the green one. Okay. It smells like nothing I've ever smelled before. Let me smell. It smells like um, just green tea, I think. Okay. <laughs> You are a fruit tea kind of guy, yeah. <laughs> no, from you. No, from me. Tell you what, do you want to try this one then oh. now? Yeah, then you try the green one. Yeah, and then we'll try the last one. Do you think that's sour? <laughs> I really like that. Just the <laughs> No, it's not. You need to try the green one, and we both need to try the red one. This is just green tea, I think. Is it? I don't like it. It's just green tea. Really? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> well, I still didn't like it. <laughs> I've never tried that. I don't recommend either of them, by the way. But it's cool. And then to finish off, we have this little bad boy. Is it? Yeah. Alright, give us your verdict on the berry tea. Cleanse the palate. Berry tea. 
จ้าเนี่ยอะไรอะไรเนี่ยอะไรเนี่ย I'm just a yeah. Don't say on it. It's just the tea, isn't it? Yeah. Last one, Tom. If you don't, if you don't want it, I will. No. I can choose to drink it, but that was the best of the three. Do you reckon? I'm gonna say this one was the best of the three, the sour one. Cheers. What do you love the most? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so while you're thinking about the person sitting opposite, I want you to find the three cups again and tap your wand to the three cups and hold it there. Slow blue. Uh -huh. There we go. There we go. Oh, nice. So oh, it's hey. called Rainbow Road and it's just your love radiating on oh. How beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the last trip I had for you guys. We are now back home. We've literally just got off the train. We tried vlogging on the train, but you couldn't hear us because it was just so loud. Wasn't you it? couldn't hear a word we said. No, because so the train was just it. very, very loud. Mm. But anyways, I don't actually think we've caught up with the vlog since Harry Potter. No, I don't. I honestly don't think we have. So what were you, what were your thoughts? <sighs> thoughts on the Harry Potter thing? It was good. Um, don't get me wrong. It was good. It wasn't great. Mm. Um, but. By no means do I think it wasn't nice. Yeah. Uh, because I do think it was good and it was something to tick off the list for us, wasn't it? Yeah. Like it it was, was something we've never done before. Absolutely. Um, would I recommend it for the money? Uh, probably not. I wouldn't recommend it. No. But I'm glad I did it. Yeah, 100%. If that makes sense. I completely agree. I don't want to sit here and sound negative. No. But on the other side, I don't want to like say it was amazing and then you guys go spend your money and take our recommendation because I'd hate to yeah. like make something sound better than it was. Yeah. I'm glad that we did it, 100%. I feel like it was a good experience. Like My personal favourite bit was the bit at the end where we made them herbal teas. Yeah. That was quite cool and like the way yeah, it interacted it was, cool. was quite cool. But if I'm going to be honest, I did expect a little bit more. I think, how much was it? 80... Yeah, six similar. pounds so near enough 90 pound was it worth 90 pound i don't think so no, probably not in all honesty no. um but we told you it was if if you want to go do it then that's totally up to you but i'm not going to recommend it saying that though we were actually going to book charlie and the chocolate factory afternoon tea and we, we had, had we actually... some friends go to charlie and the chocolate factory for afternoon yeah. tea and they said it was amazing just quite expensive and we booked that and again we could only get them two at the same time we could only get them at the, like literally our last day yeah so it was one or the other and, and we actually had charlie in the chocolate factory booked we, we booked did. that first and then we came across the harry potter one and yeah. obviously you guys know that we love harry potter so we cancelled charlie in the chocolate factory and rebooked not rebooked booked harry potter this there were it. similar prices i'm sure charlie in the chocolate factory was like six pound more yeah but we know that that one was really really good because yeah. our friends have been so if you are looking for kind of a bit of a quirky afternoon tea maybe that one again we can't recommend it because we've not been apparently the charlie and the chocolate factory afternoon tea is meant to be really really good yeah. so i'd probably go to that one over the harry potter one but glad we did it having said all that we've done some really cool stuff in london yeah, we have. i have had an absolute blast it's been nice to be in london and just be do whatever we wanted be tourist yeah that's what we set out nice. to do we said from the start of this trip i think we said it in the last vlog to you guys yeah. that we just wanted to go to london and like sightsee and be tourist like the bus tour honestly i think we did that in the last vlog but when i say the last vlog i mean part one of this vlog like the first couple of days but i would highly recommend the bus tour it's so interesting don't you bus think bus tour is an absolute it, whether you've been to london you know london it, it, you're a history buff whatever you whatever you're you know whatever you are yeah whoever you are whatever your spectrum of the scale you're on can you stop you putting my heat seat on seriously <laughs> right me and tommy have this thing where we when we're not looking we put each other's heated seat on when it's warm outside and i've not realized <laughs> it's <laughs> red just, my, my back was sweating and i was like for god's sake he's got me <laughs> trying to get each other Duh. anyways sorry to interrupt no you're um, all right you but what i was saying is whatever spectrum level of the spectrum you're on you will enjoy yeah. that bus tour because there's summer on it for absolutely everyone it's yeah. amazing bus tour is amazing west end is just 
I don't know, it just makes my heart happy. It makes yeah. my soul happy, just the West End. And that LSQ rooftop bar, which again we did in the last vlog, would highly recommend Unreal. that. Unreal. And even that speakeasy last you know, night, that was yeah, good. Yeah, both amazing. Do you know what the worst, like, not the worst, obviously there's, there's worse things to happen, but the fact that we've come home today mm. because there is the red carpet oh, event. Yeah, in um, Square. George Clooney's brand new film is literally the the red carpet premiere. Premiere is yeah. on in Leicester Square tonight. They were setting it all up. It's all barricaded off. The big red carpet's out and everything, as we've just seen leaving. Yeah. If we were on that rooftop bar tonight, that would have been overlooking min. that. That would have been so good. Wow, imagine. So good. But anyways, it's been nice just to get away. It's it been has. nice to get away together to spend some quality time this and, like we say, just true. do things that we love. So, we are going to actually go ahead and end the vlog here. I'm ready to just go to my own home, have a nice hot shower, because there's nothing better than a shower in your own house, is there? This is like, hotel true. showers are just not, they're, they're just not, not your shower, yeah. They're not so very powerful. I've that. never been to a hotel with a powerful shower. No. As powerful as one at your own house. No, me neither. So, yeah, I'm excited to go and do that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we are going to go ahead and end today's video here. So we really, really hope you have enjoyed spending a couple of days with us. If you have then please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss a video. As always, thank you so, so much for watching and we shall see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.